What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and mounting this on my patrol rifle, the Hollow Sun 510 CGR. And it's the green dot. So let's unbox it and get it on my patrol rifle. Before we continue this video, if you've been liking and enjoying my content on YouTube and YouTube Shorts, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get back to the video. First things first, you wanna know how much this thing is. If you go into a shop and you try to buy this thing, it's gonna set you back about 340, 350 bones. There it is, this is the inside of the box and what comes in the box with the optic. Let's uh, take it out. Oh yeah, this thing is beefy. And there it is. Not turned down yet, but that thing looks quality. It definitely looks like it's built to last. And I mean, it doesn't look terrible. The design is pretty sleek. It's minimal. I'm a big fan so far. I like that. All right, let's turn it on. I'll give you guys kind of the first look here. Let's see if I can get it. Time it just right. Let me focus on the green dot. There it is. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Right in the forehead. And so at the moment, I don't see any parallaxing. It does say it's parallax free. Obviously, I'll go to the range and test it out for myself and give you more of an in-depth review on the rifle. Okay, right now you have the circle and dot. If you want to change it to the other modes, you just hold the minus sign on the side and it'll change to just a dot. If you want to change it again, you hold the minus sign and you'll see just the circle. Hold the minus sign one more time and you'll get circle and dot. So that's how you change from the different modes from circle dot circle to just the dot. And if you want to adjust the brightness, the plus or minus sign will help you there. And on top of the actual optic, you have your solar panel. So if your battery dies for some reason, you got the solar panel. So here's my rifle. I currently have the Holosun optic, the 403R and this is the little screw I need to take it off. I'll just unscrew it really quick. And there it is. There's a little clip here, unclip that. I'm gonna put this probably right, I think right there. Okay, so I'll mount it on the actual Picatinny rail. I'll grab this lever and I'll close it just like that. And as you can see that right there, there's no wiggle room. Oh, that green, <laughs> that green is, is everything. Yeah, and it co-witnesses with my front sight very well. If I need to, I'll just flip up the rear sight. Also, co-witnesses fairly well. So, so even now that I just mounted this optic on here, the field of view in the optic is very wide, and I can see a whole lot through it, which is really good, right? Which is what you want from any optic on a rifle. But the next thing I'll have to do is get the magnifier that goes back here so I can flip it. To and, uh, to and from, just in case I need a, a long shot for anything that I do. So I'm liking it. The Hollow Sun 510 CGR, loving it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I can't wait to go to the range and test this out, make sure it's running pretty smoothly, make sure it gets sighted in, and I'm gonna see if this holds up. And I know it will because it's made out of titanium, which is solid. It actually matches my, my rifle pretty well, so. Yeah, there is the Hollow Sun Optic, uh, the green dot version, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else with the optic and the rifle. Uh, I will for sure go to the range, run it through some drills. I'll go through the different modes. I'll do a different video on that and show you guys what it's like. I'll show you what it runs like, how it shoots with the optic, all that awesome stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.